Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to episode 9 of 12 in my Christmas countdown series. We all need emergency cards or thank you cards after the festive season. So my thoughts were, why not gift your own creations and package them in these nice, sturdy craft gift boxes? Last week, I showed you how you can dress the box. This week, it's an idea of what to put in them. I've used the papers from the gingerbread and peppermint suite. You can find it on page 9 of the July to December 2021 mini. I just used the 6 by 6 inch designer series paper just to cover the aperture of the box. In the suite there are the gingerbread and peppermint memories and more cards and envelopes. These are fabulous because not only are the envelopes decorated, the cards are pre-printed and it's incorporated a matte layer on it as well. I also use the real red ruffled ribbon and the acrylic shapes to decorate the box and the tie. When you open the box I've adhered a piece of gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper on the inside and this has been stamped with the Christmas season photopolymer stamp set and I die cut the largest of the labels from the accompanying die set which is called seasonal labels dies. I made six cards but they were rather bulky and that's why I've tied a ribbon round them. I think it's a three quarter inch depth. Yes it's three quarter inches so that they would fit nicely in the box. Then you can pick any stamp set in your stash and make some cards for inside. I won't show you how to make all of them, but I will show you how I made this one. And you can also stamp the envelope to decorate it and to customise each envelope to go with a card. You can look through the stamp sets and dies that you already have in your possession and just make up some cards. So this one is from the hand pen petals and I just used up the ginger and peppermint memories and more card pack. So this card pack has a wire rack and you can use it for any colour you want because you can colour it on the back on the white side. And then these are three by four inches and there's a variety of those. So I've actually used these cards for my mat layers. You don't need to do any cutting, it will just fit directly onto the card. So we'll use that one. There are also some sticker sheets. And I use this card and fussy cut the star for the label on my box here and I just use the leftovers and cut a little strip to decorate this tab here. So to make this card you'll need Blushing Bride So Saffron and Granny Apple Green inks and the holiday rhinestones and also the tuxedo black memento ink. Now I've mounted my stamps on the stamp routers because what you can do is make multiples of the same card um, well as much as the cardstock will allow you the memories and more but you can use alternative papers anyway. So these mats are three inch by four inches and you can make multiples of one design, then swap the stamps over and make your next run of card design. Just apply some seal and tape on the back. Make sure it's the right way up. 
and attach that leaving an even border all round. I've already set up my Stamparatus and the advantage of uh, using the Stamparatus is that you can do multiples of this card and you don't have to worry about placing the stamp just in the right position because this is a two-step stamping method so you have the outline and then you have stamps that fill in the images so it saves you colouring especially if you're making multiples of the card it's just so much easier to stamp it so this is in the right position and I'll stamp those two other flowers in so saffron now these images aren't exactly going to cover the whole of the flower it's meant to do that it's not a design fault in the stamp it's supposed to look hand penned as the name suggests I'm going to stamp the pair of flowers by hand because there's only the one stamp so it's just easier to do it mounted on a block than it is to do it on the Stamparatus because then you can change direction the leaves are in granny apple green and there's a large leaf and a small leaf and you can stamp it in either direction So you can stamp it upside down as well. Then the larger leaf. And I'll also stamp the sentiment at the same time down the bottom here. And I can fussy cut that out. Didn't turn out. Wasn't enough ink. Grab your cutting sandwich, this is platform one, your basic platform, platform two, the thin die adapter, your base platform three, cardstock die, cutting edge face down, and then top platform three and you're ready to run it through the machine. So I'll do that off camera and I'll be back. I'm also going to cut out the sentiment I'll do that off camera because it will save time the advantage of using the Stamparatus is that you can also die cut several blanks off the this same floral image pop it back into the original one where you stamp this and you can use that as a template pop this back in switch your plates I use glue dots, glue dot here, I wanted it to lie flat without too much um, bulk, place it along here, pop the dimensionals on the back, these are the mini ones Grab the holiday rhinestone. Then to decorate the inside of the card, I simply stamped side here. And because I'm using inks and not stamping blends to colour in, the ink won't bleed through to the other side. 
So if you are going to do multiples, I'll do everything you need. Um, do your blanks and um, stamp the solid colours first. Then when you come to doing this bit, you can unmount the stamps and put it on an acrylic block. So this is exactly what I'm doing now. I've finished doing the multiples of the flower. So I can mount these on blocks. And then stamp it in so saffron. Next, stamp the leaves. Cut up about an inch of this card. Cut it in the middle. And from the outer edge in toward the centre, I cut a flag end. And then just touch it with stamp and seal over the top here. Last thing to do is decorate the envelope. I just use this stamp and stamped it in black. So that's how you can alter the Memories and More cards to make a box of cards gift wrapped in these craft gift boxes. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and found inspiration in making your own. Thanks for joining me today and I'll pop back with more inspiration next week. You'll find the list of supplies below this video in the show more section and you can also read more about it on my blog at stampwithelaine.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.